Alright, what's up guys? Justin the Ninja here, back with more of our Harvest Moon Let's Play. It is currently... Wait for it. The last day of winter. Which means that it's the last day of the chapter. Nice. Which means next episode we will be starting the final chapter. Very nice. Anyways, I went ahead and checked the weather. Now I'm going to do my usual farming stuff, such as laying animals out, watering crops. You know, the same, same stuff that you've seen me do before. Also, in between episodes, my cow Caramel gave birth, which means that another animal that I'm likely going to sell, because I don't want full barn capacity. Alright, Caramel, wake up. Wake up! Wake up! There we go. Alright, and I need your milk so I can feed the calf. There we go. Alright. Hey, wake up, calf. There we go. There you go. Have something to eat. Or drink, whatever. Alright, there you go. Also, I'm going to need to clean the animals. Really? As soon as I push my cow over to the bathing area, she goes to sleep. Wow. Whatever. I honestly don't care anymore. Alright, time to water the crops. Okay, the crops are now watered, so I'm going to go ahead and refill my watering can, and then after that, I'm going to, then I'm going to bathe the cow like I was trying to before she, before she went to sleep. If 
Finally. All right, now that she's finally cooperating. There we go. That's more like it. I'm just ringing this bell so I can separate the animals so I can move them towards the bathing area much easier. Excuse me. There we go. And the other cow is sticking her head inside the calf hutch. You're not even the calf's mother. But, okay. Alright, time to push this bowl over to the bathing area. Alright, come on. But yeah, guys, it's hard to believe that it feels like only a short time ago that I began this Let's Play, and the next episode we're already transitioning to Chapter 6, the final chapter. It feels like only a short time, even though it's been spanned across, like, I don't know, three to five months already? But it feels like a very short time. It feels like only yesterday that I started this series. Wake up! Thank you. There we go. Now the bowl is clean. Alright, good. All the animals that needed cleaning are now clean. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go wait for the excavation site to open up so I can help with the excavation for a little bit. I'm also going to pick up these wild plants. But in terms of flowers, I'd say that I'm pretty much done trying to pick flowers for the rest of this playthrough. Since I don't really see a big point in picking them anymore. Alright, let me go ahead and eat one. Just to make sure I don't get annoyed by the hungry animation. Okay. Alright, I'm going to start making my way towards the excavation site. And pretty much just wait the remaining amount of time that it takes to, for it to open up. So yeah. Really, horse? You're sitting there rolling around in the dirt when I'm trying to... Get up! Thank you. Come on. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm pretty much just gonna chill by the waterfall until... Carter and Flora start making their way towards the tent. All right, I'm gonna leave Epona near the waterfall. Let her enjoy the beautiful scenery, and let her get splashed a little bit by the waterfall. So, hey. <laughs> What's up, Carter? I will do that, Carter. All 
Alright, what's up, Carter? I will help you right away. Alright. I really don't care where where I dig, I'm just gonna go with it. So yeah, I suppose I'll just start digging until I want to say maybe around noon, around 12 to 1 p.m. I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. We are done digging for the time being. Also, we can definitely be expecting a much bigger dig site the following year. Well, I don't know about much bigger, but our digs the dig site is definitely going to be bigger again the following year. Also, something else that's very nice is that besides that record that we got from Carter and back in Chapter 1, there's also something else that we can earn from Carter and Flora both. But I'm not going to spoil what it is, how to get it, but there's one more thing we can get from them. Alright, I'm going to make my way back to the farm. Give this last thing of milk to the calf. Come here, Cell. No, seriously, once again, I named the calf Cell because even though the calf is a girl and a, a girl cow is helpful in terms of milk giving, 
I'm also at the same time selling calves and stuff now because I don't want a full capacity in my barn. Because it'll just become more annoying to manage things like fodder and stuff. It's just more annoying. Plus, if I heard online, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm gonna stay away from doing so just in case it is, just to be safe. I heard that if you get a full barn capacity in this game, there's a chance that your game may glitch and your save may corrupt. And since I don't want to take risks, I chose... I'm basically choosing to leave at least one open space in the barn. Anyways, back to the watering. I'm just finishing my watering for the day. Our potatoes are going to be done very soon. My guess is that they're going to be done on the first or second day of chapter 6. Which means, guys, also, this is actually going to be the final episode that you will be seeing the chapter si the I'm sorry. This will be the final episode that you will see the chapter 5 thumbnail. So yeah, after that, we're going to be getting, once again, a new thumbnail for these videos. Because those of you that don't know that I just joined into the Let's Play, I made custom thumbnails that correspond with what chapter I'm currently in. Like in chapter one, the thumbnail just had had just my character. In chapter two, it had him together with Lumina and Angel as a toddler. In chapter three, it was him, Lumina, and Angel as a young kid. Chapter four, it was him, Lumina, and Angel as a teenager. It was the same thing for chapter five, only with Angel's outfit looking a little bit different, even in the thumbnail. For chapter six, well, I'm not gonna say what it is because. Y'all guys, you guys are gonna see it in due time. Like, y'all are gonna see it once we reach chapter six next episode. So yeah, I'm excited to finally start the final chapter after this episode. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna go ahead and start doing is I'm gonna start putting the animals up. And basically, once I end the episode, I'm going to get the file ready so that we can transition into Chapter 6, the next episode. So, yeah. Hey! Hello, Angel. I seriously never spoke to you? Alright, I'm going to do my daily influencing, just to be sure. She's probably got, not going to say anything new. Actually, does she have fodder? Do, I'm sorry, does she have dialogue for the fodder? I know in Chapter 2, I'm pretty sure regardless of who you marry, if you show your kid fodder, he or she'd be like, Ooh, smelly! I wonder what her reaction is now. You are right, Angel. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the dispenser. I don't need it. This is just for Cell's box. I'm, I'm guess what I, I named her Cell because my plan was to sell her once she fully matured. Well, from the calf stage is why I'm going to sell her because apparently if you sell a cow as a calf, it will actually apparently make the mother upset. And if it's true, I'm just I'm just doing it. Ju I'm just waiting until she matures just to be safe. In my case, I don't want to upset Caramel. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. And yep, I'll see you guys later.